What a sad story. The father telling me that his son is devastated and his life will never be the same. This just hours after the teen was accused of ramming his BMW into another car, killing six people. And the father tells me that contrary to sheriff's investigators' suspicions that his son was not under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Sheriff's Office investigators say a BMW was speeding north on State Road 7 just before 11 p.m. Thursday night, driven by a 17-year-old Wellington male. Deputies say the teen rear-ended an SUV, killing all six inside. The father of that teen telling me tonight, he's crushed, he's crushed, he's just devastated, as we all are. According to the incident report, the BMW's driver came up behind a Nissan Rogue SUV and collided into the rear of the SUV. The BMW spinning off to the right, the Nissan spinning to the left into the median where it flipped several times. All six people in the SUV died, five at the scene and one at the hospital. The driver of the BMW was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. The investigative officer checked the box on the incident report suggesting alcohol or drug use by that teenage driver. The teen's father says his son was at home with the family until leaving to go see a friend shortly before the crash. He says his son was not drinking and says, quote, it's inaccurate. The blood tests that were done last night show no alcohol. The sheriff's office says possible alcohol use is under investigation and is only suspected at this time. And the BMW driver has not been taken into custody or charged. We still do not know the identities of those six victims who were killed after just one horrible moment on a dark and foggy night. Live in West Palm Beach, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.